What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Persia. In this episode, uh, we have a fair few Ottomans to grind through on our way towards Damascus. So the first army um, has sallied out to try and prevent us from advancing. So let's teach them the error of their ways. Uh, they may have a lot of camels, but we have a lot of pikes. So the idea is to maintain consistent pressure towards Damascus to ideally um, push them back to Damascus, then push all the way through towards Cairo. And then we'll have quite nicely secured our empire. And the capture of more ports, particularly, particularly with Damascus, will be super helpful. So us, the centre of our line are going to be the solid Kizilbashi. Although, interestingly, Kizilbashi can't form square. So we want the Kizilbashi in the centre, where they can at least use their mass as a way of surviving. This, I guess this probably paints the case towards why you do still want Israeli in the line. Because Israeli can form square to protect themselves. Although I've nicked one too many Belayin. Okay. Let's get my. Get my. Uh, let's get which is on the flank. Whoops. Wait. Oh, groups. Why have I grouped my pipes together like that? Okay. I did wonder. I thought, why have I got. So few melee troops. Cool. Okay, so just spread my melee troops along the line. Camels on one flank, general on the other. So the general has to get in and do some work. So the enemy has guns that we're going to advance right into the face of. Enemy camels on the right flank. Let's see if we can lure them in. Not so much on the left, but they are coming in. Push everybody forward. Bye. General out wide. Yep, yeah, because they have artillery. We do not have any. That's another reason towards not wanting to necessarily sit back. We don't advance too far forward because we got fire by rank in the Kizilbashi Musketeers. So these are the skirmish cavalry. This is actually really good. They're starting to, um, they're going to surrender the flank to us. Okay, we're getting into some combat here. Here they come. Advance. Yeah, my Kizilbashi, they can fire by rank. So some of these units are going to get annihilated. So, this already goes to fire by rank, but the... Uh, presence of enemy cavalry is preventing us from being able to do that. There's my general run up hard on the flank. Pikemen get in against the risks of souls. Skirmishers get in. Okay, pikemen get in because the camels are in. Center, Berlin, push to get it, get involved. The general advance. The yeah, risks of souls are a scary unit, but they are going down quite fast. Their defense is quite low. A okay, general attack those desert warriors. 
The enemy centre is collapsing. Let's try run my camels into that block of troops there. Actually, no, you guys have to no, you guys better stay where you are. Nice. The camels are shattered, desert warriors. Okay, my pike need to divert toward these camel nomads. Attack the enemy Janissaries. Yeah, they're broken as well. Get my general back because the Desert Warriors have recovered. Okay, you men push up into the flank of that attack. These poor Afghan hillmen. Run up to help. My cavalry is not going to get involved there, though. Okay, let's get my infantry to pursuit. My Afghan helmet, unsurprisingly, have broken. Ham was engaged the Bashi Bazooks. Get my general to knock out those risks of souls because they're a really good unit. Because Obashi go for the desert warriors, pikemen go for the Muslim. Enemies in full retreat. Push forward, everybody. Chase them like a swarm. Well, they've been broken. The general's going to wait here for the Bashi Bazooks to break. You know, you pikemen better go in against those guys. Attack the horsemen. Let's bring my camels over here. Smash into this Israeli unit. If I had more cavalry, I'd be even better placed to destroy some of these units. But sadly, that is not the case. Camels have to charge the Muslim because they are actually coming back to fight. The enemy general has collapsed. Excellent. Kill the last gunner. Excellent. Okay, it looks like lots of these enemy troops are actually going to retreat. Successfully be able to retreat. Still, we can kill a handful of their units and seriously damage the rest. That's still a good outcome. Yeah, just focus on the Muslim. These guys are going to escape. Just get back out of the way. And my general will come in. Let my, let my camels do the work. Wherever that gunner is, you can try and kill him. Kill the desert warriors. Camel's gonna go over here and try to help my general take out these desert warriors, but I was about to say it might not be needed actually. They're quite close. Yeah, they are going to escape. My general can't kill them fast enough. So then it's all down to wherever the hell Oh, he's over there. 
Run! Run, my cavalry. Although he should be able to make it. My, my horsemen will, at least. Killing a gunner, killing a gun team's a good is a good outcome. But we need our artillery to attack Syria anyway. So we need to wait a bit so we can reinforce. Stop and fight, you coward. There he goes. That wasn't a close victory, that was a good victory. They got stopped. Nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, they still got a large amount of numbers, but the quality of their troops is weak. We need to push out of Ankara to attack some of these fragments of armies. Because, yeah, taking Ankara was quite a big deal. I think now we're reaching a point where we want to get a... If we can, get an alliance with Russia to secure our northern border so we can focus on the ottomans to our west i think that's what we want to do because once we take take out cairo and damascus and jerusalem we'll have to spend some money to get them up to standard but then we want to push into uh, the balkans just to try and remove the ottoman threat P not permanently but you know effectively permanently Enemy agent? Is that enemy agent that got executed? Yes, he tried to assassinate my my assassin. Let's try and assassinate their general. Got him. Just to really rub salt in the wound. Okay, well let's... Who can leave? Everybody. Let's send a block of guys to just to go auto-resolve that. Engagement. Oh, too bad. My general's involved. In range, anyway. So just reinforce the top half. Because we need, really... You guys to reinforce. See, we don't bring the enemy general in here. Push forward... Push forward. Which you can't really do much. You might push on towards Cairo. Can't call for any reinforcements. Um, oh, we have countries we can trade with. Okay, Prussia. I'll trade with you and I'll give you division of labour. How about that? Good. Portugal. Let's try trade with you, and I will give you spinning jenny. Good. I think that's everybody. So then that's 9,000 of trade income. Overall, 7,500 income, though. That's not bad. But yeah, you guys need to get up to Damascus pretty rapidly. Unless we just attack. Just attack kill them then these guys are done then it's just this army they may have to fall back to jerusalem i think we have to do it our army's still pretty good let's take damascus deprive the enemy of that income keep it for ourselves then that army will have they will must must fall back to jerusalem i mean if they don't this army will just chase after them and will slowly start to build a garrison in Damascus, but we'll wait and see if that's a problem we have to worry about. Okay. Because we're actually a real mix in terms of quality now. Okay, I'll keep this easy. Because we're on one flank, Pelleen on the other. Gun Hillman, just stay where you are. 
that's 11 men you're not providing a particularly discriminating capability okay i mean if they're just going to run run away from us that's great especially if it means we can run our line into action Your mortars are useless. Okay, let's take the high ground. The troops are of superior quality to yours, I'm afraid. gap. I'm not actually in range of the mortars. Here they come. Hey, men, start your firing drills. Before you men fire, get up on top of that high ground because the camels, they are surrendering the left flank to us entirely, so we are going to take it. And they're surrendering the right flank as well. Jaws of a giant trap closing. So they've almost. If we had artillery just slamming shots in here, that'd be that'd be perfect. So we're not looking to kill entire enemy units here. You need to actually close in a little bit better. There's a camel unit. It's going to try and charge us, but we've got pikemen right here. Enemies. Oh, don't die to these skirmishes, General. Pikemen are coming to back you up. Camels go after the garrison of Zar that have appeared behind us. Oh, this Kizilbashi unit, they've not even deployed. General, general folks on shattering them. Okay, enemy camels coming back. Try your luck if you want, gentlemen. Once we're pikemen are in, these camel nomads are done for. They're firing to the centre because they're firing my rank. Excellent. If, yeah, if we had artillery, this would be a lot more dangerous for them. Kill those damn there. 
but the camels start to work their way back. Because yeah, they aren't actually getting towards the... They're running very slowly towards the perimeter. Okay, Pokemon, see if you can tag that general. You guys don't have anyone to shoot at, but now the Desert Warriors have obliged. I think some of these guys are turning around to try and they want to go for my general. Behind my lines now, buddy. Go after that unit of desert warriors. Killed their general because we just um, we just completely surrounded him with pikemen. Ooh, garrison is having swordsmen. Pikemen form up. General, get ready. That's, that's a terrible decision for them because if they charge these guys this um, entire flank of their attack was exposed to being shot at by the Felline Musketeers there we go don't have to worry about killing anyone anymore that is Damascus secured that's really quite a big get so we get some more ports does that immediately get us yes more trade opportunities well, they're only one with the Barbary States. Let's see if they'll trade with us for animal husbandry. They want that and canister shot. Yes. There we go. We're trading with a, with a protector of the Ottomans. That goes to show how much their, um, how strong their negotiating position is. So the rest of my money is going to go into reinforcing this army plus repairing the school of poetry. We have one bit of gold left so yeah th i think those should go back fall back to jerusalem so next turn we're on for 9220 income that's really good my ministers are all good None of, nobody in the wings seems to be a genius awesome let's hit and turn oh i didn't get that um peace deal with russia uh, alliance with Russia. I'll get it this turn. Ultimately, I don't mind allying with Russia. Now we're secure. Uh, no. Now that we're safe, and also there, they back up Poland. I kind of want to see Poland exist, so I don't mind um, cozying up to the Polish axis. Yeah, they are forming near Istanbul. This is part of that land bridge, or the, the strait, rather. Because the Ottomans have their navy there, they control flow of forces across the strait. So we need to make sure what we do is that we don't forget the fact that we are kind of exposed. I don't think the army near Syria has actually moved. I mean, we could be on for another attack here, to be honest, because they've not replenished. I mean, we haven't, but neither have they. We might be on for another attack. Italians are chasing down the Barbaries. Here comes the Kamikaze Barbaries again. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, we didn't get quite as much as they thought we, we thought we were going to get. Presumably because, yeah, some of our uh, trade partners have been blockaded. Oh, because it's because Izmir has been um, hacked by the by the enemy. So let's take. So what are you actually? Okay, you're a reasonable block of guys. Let's send you the long way around. Just to head them off. You men are going to stay here, just in case these guys try and double back. So that's unfortunate, but it's not a killer. But yeah, you've not replenished. Well, you've not fallen back, which is a bit of a surprise, but I'll take it. But what it does mean is I'm probably not going to wait for my reinforcements to come up. Can I leave? Yes, I can. Okay, first of all, Beirut. Crew to sloop. You're the only... Oh, I need... Oh, I want... To. Three sloops, really. One for Beirut, one for Latakia. Not because I need anything to defend, but that's an immediate attack route for enemies. Um, But yeah, let's make sure we go north of them, then attack towards them from the north. I think I might fight it just to try and minimise my losses, although the enemy force looks really quite weak. But this army may push forward and immediately attack Jerusalem afterwards. I'll need to recruit. I need to re. I need to um, rebuild or repair the military production building in Damascus, because. Well, I would like some reinforcements. But this is really quite good. Okay, so my still strong units of Kizilbashi. Take the center. Take the center of my position. Be nice, my Israeli now become part of that. Then my strongest units of musketeer, Belin musketeers on one flank. My slightly weaker units on the left, but they've got a Kizilbashi unit in there, so they're still quite good. This army is really quite experienced now. Okay, they're actually kind of coming. Are they coming towards us? No, they just reform their line. Okay. We're going to advance. We're going to advance through this uneven terrain. It looks a bit janky. But we've got good melee troops securing it. You guys are going to run up this hill. We got artillery. We'll be pounding them. They're just re okay. They're rebalancing their line. They wait for my line to get into position. I don't mind walking into them because I've got the better um, military technologies. I've got superior firepower. You guys push up at speed at an angle. Okay, they're coming in. Make sure I get a pikeman unit up here. Probably want to split. We don't mind the Bashi Bazooks charging. What's probably going to happen is these Kizilbashi 
Musketeers are going to form on the right hand side of this barricade. Right hand side of this mound, rather. Camels push out wide. Actually, Bazook's going to get got pushed back. Nip, General. Oh, those, are, those are enemy Mussolini. To work, General. These camels are going to get peppered with shots from my Feline musketeers. My Feline commit against the camel mercenaries in the center. are broken. The Feline are on the charge, but let's call them back. Okay, you men hold that gap. Izobashi, push up to the top of the hill. You guys keep pushing around the flank. White camel nomads attack their desert camel mercenaries. Hold the flank in here. Okay, that unit's shattered. Oh, the Janissaries are chasing after my general. Kill their enemy general. There's a camel mercenaries are shattered. Excellent. So this flank on the right is wide open. Especially bazooks have charged straight into our line. my general back to also square off against these Janissaries because they're quite good. They're shaken. They're wavering. Smash into them from the behind. Yeah, don't like that, do ya? Awesome. Recover. So we still have an enemy camel unit, although that looks like it's going after my my camels on the other flank. Better go get them just to be safe. I mean, my general in the centre, because that's one almighty tasty blob of routing units. Okay, get my feline to back up my camel mercenaries. Charge into the block and kill as many as you can. Same with my camels up here. work. Yeah, continue. Although it's going to be mostly my general and my camels doing the work. Just trying to kill as many men as they can. if I get my gem up to the next experience level. I don't typically have generals get that level. But then again, it's mostly because I don't do lots of... Um, I don't spend a lot of time chasing down routing armies unless like I need them to die. 
Like later on, my economy is so robust, I don't necessarily need them to die. I'd like them to die, but I don't need them. Okay, my general and my camels are going to focus on these. This last unit of uh, Cirelli. Although, yeah, I did realize they do have stakes down, so that could have gone spectacularly badly wrong. Uh, they managed to escape. Nevertheless, that is a good, good attack. How many have they got left? 394. Good. Let's put Jerusalem under siege. And... Yeah. We just, just take it. Just steamrolling. Okay, you're going to infiltrate Cairo. This agent here is going to go up to... Well, they're going to work their way around towards um, Ottoman territory. repair these buildings get the army replenished and get oh no, sadly I think cancelling it might have reset it okay you guys are now going to get the fastest route which is up and around the coast that's huge okay Russia because we are very friendly You want indefinite military access and, and you want us to pay you six well you're gonna pay us six hundred and sixty. Okay. Good. Fifteen hundred, does that get us any good economic upgrades? I probably want I do want this to be a school, but only once Batman is in a better position to become a um happiness building to prevent the civil unrest from being too strong so let's upgrade you to a talented farm so don't know if you'll reach um do you have any ch cheap farm upgrades elsewhere i mean we've got a lat could be a madrasa but we don't eh, a bit of religious unrest but really i want you to run back to cairo these guys to reinforce and then for us just to smash and take Cairo because then we'll be rolling in it 7,400 again we're being cut because we've lost um, this port we don't have access to the trade again you can nearly get there I just don't want well, you know you do run around back to Ankara this army will get there first so I, pro I probably am better off advancing So we've got measuring tools, flat economy upgrade, and you've gone to blast furnace. I want you now to start researching hard back down the philosophical technologies while well, Comancha. Yeah, flying shuttle's okay because you're only two turns away, but I do need to start looking at upgrading this college. Patriotic fervor is really high. Seven turns till another, we get another building that we could potentially turn into a um, coffee house, which would be really good. Because two modern universities in one town, that's tough. Until you get to the end of the philosophical technologies track, where you can get like a flat minus five unhappiness to everywhere. Or minus five camera for a fault. I can't remember the exact details off the top of my head. But there's a really good tech at the end of the tree that reduces unhappiness kind of everywhere. Yeah, that's the, that's exactly what what happens. So I've lost the recruitment of the um, sloop, so my trade income is that much more impacted. See, it's almost as if I'm kind of sus suspicious of what the AI does all the time. Yeah, they have done exactly what I thought they would do. Um, but I don't think I mind. We, we've got a rebellion in the middle of Europe. Breslau belongs to a white faction. So I suspect that's... I mean, the French haven't got that far in, have they? Or is it going to be Genoa? No. I'm not sure. We'll soon find out. So let's repair this. 
Yeah, so this army just comes back. You just get to get to right there and then attack them and then just smash them. Yeah, bringing you into the pl into play. So get you into Izmir. Let's get a Bohemia levy to kick them out of Beirut. I mean, you guys just may as well just carry on the blitz. I don't think they've got much that can stop us. Ah, oh, damn it, I did it again. How have they got anyone there to stop us? No. So we might be able to just demand the surrender of Pyro. Russians have cancelled their trade with us. Kind of sucks, but eh. Yeah, until we boot that, bleed that ship out, there's not a huge amount we can do here. You, you can do that. You don't want to do it permanently. Kick them out and then repair the port facility. Probably drop a couple of Pelian Ankara. Upgrade the college in Iraq in um, Persia. Fourteen hundred. Oh, that's not enough. So we can put a trade port in Tbilisi. More trade. Yeah, next turn you want to go for Cairo. Then they should start to be... Really what we then want to start doing is... You've got a good amount of movement, so let's go... Raid Piraeus. Raid Thessaloniki. There we go. Start to hit their trade. Growth is negative anyway, so hopefully... Because they've lost a couple of big cities and they've got quite large armies to maintain... They'll start to suffer from attrition. Uh, one more turn to flying shuttle. Good. Oh, I need to get my these new trade ports built on the Mediterranean coast. Not only do they open up more trade routes, but even if they don't have goods to trade, they still have all those latent you know, plus however many hundred to my region wealth plus four per turn wealth growth rate so even though you don't have cotton tobacco and whatnot to trade as a resource those are kind of bonuses um the port itself still provide quite heavy um trade bonuses yes yeah, so they are starting to try to take advantage of that land bridge This is why we need to keep keep on recruiting troops because I don't think we're, we're never gonna we're never gonna be at a point where we can a hundred percent guarantee and say you know what we have a we have a complete qualitative advantage over the Ottomans we can afford to attack them with fewer troops I mean that's kind of true now but the Ottomans have so many armies and those are just the armies that we can see running around the Balkans that. God knows what they've got elsewhere in this in their empire. Although we have managed to completely break their hold in the Middle East. So you've raided the mines. So you're going to go east. You're going to go here and attack those guys. You're going to go around that way to head off this unit of irregulars. Then we're going to recruit a couple of units of Israeli. Starting to surround this chap. Right. Okay, so. Trade gained. 
taste for preaching. This guy's a good preacher. We've researched flying shuttles, so it's gone on to spinning mule, which. Yes, I think. Because you upgraded the farms at Ankara, so Batman's growing a bit faster. Okay, let's get the levy over. Well, actually, first of all, you men are going to move up ready to bolster this army. They're recruiting in Cairo, you can see it. We're just going to put the city under siege. We don't need to attack the city immediately. You men just get down here to bolster the army. Okay, let's send Sloop to Latakia. And build a trade port there. Build a trade port in Gaza because Beirut is going to recruit Sloop. And Limassol is going to recruit another. And Izmir is going to recruit another. Then you're going to go back out and raid their ports again. So just by raiding in and out, you've not done a huge amount of damage, but you've just cancelled their trade. And every little bit helps. 1700. School of Calligraphers, 600 for plus one happiness across the board and plus one wealth per turn. That's pretty good. Unless. Now I need to start building up my towns, building up my infrastructure. I've got a feeling that mobility through the Middle East is going to be quite important. Seven and a half thousand. Lots of trade regions, are being, lots of trade zones are being raided. Yeah, this Ottoman fleet. Can't do anything about them, sadly. I mean, I will do when the time comes and I invade. <laughs> I invade the mainland. Okay, let's see it in turn. So getting an alliance with Russia is really important because the AI now seems to be really good at maintaining alliances. Or at the very least, they're, they're a lot less likely to turn on you than they used to be, seemingly. But yeah, look how many armies they've got. Oh, did you cancel our alliance? Okay, I didn't notice that. Okay. Literally, just when I said the AI is really good at not breaking alliances. No, apparently they can just cancel them. So if I was like role playing, you would say, No, I'm not going to give you that alliance. That's. You're going to have to. We're going to have to get something out of it. But getting that alliance is so strategically important. It means that we don't have to worry about defending the Caucasus. We can focus all of our firepower against the Ottomans. And ultimately, I only really want Greece and Istanbul. Because once we've taken them, we've broken the Ottomans' backs. We've broken the Ottomans' backs and we've got two really good territories on in the Balkans. Although I suspect, once we take Greece, Venice will declare on us. So Georgia, the trade port's been done. Let's recruit a sloop to garrison that. Successful mission. So yeah, so we're still spying. You're at full strength, that's great. And then my guns are on their way, so you're actually probably going to lose one unit of pikemen, because you've got three in your army, plus a unit of Beline me melee infantry. They're going to go to Damascus for now. Shit, oh, nope. I want to send this... Might send the sloop to Gaza. Don't want to attack Alexandria yet. I mean, I'm going to demolish that fishing port to build yet another, um, build yet another uh, trade port. Just to resolve that. 
There we go, we got him boxed in. So you're just a pair of... Um, you're just a set of um, Azar anyway. So let's build a couple of cav units. Actually, you are now able to get through here, pop over and infiltrate Istanbul. Because their fleet has moved, we can actually do stuff. They've not repaired the port, so I'm going to raid them again. We have another port over here, but it's protected by that fleet. So I'm just going to do that. Do a bit more damage. I'm hoping these guys, these units, start to um, suffer from attrition. Because their empire is... is oh yeah, Istanbul's... Not, they're not claiming any tax from Istanbul. Athens is really happy, but it's shrinking. And apart from that, they've only got these frontier towns generating income. Hmm. Okay, though. Right. 4,900. Let's get building. So Rash can put a craft workshop, because that's quite a cheap get. Ooh, surgeon. Plus 10% chance of recovery of battle casualties. Nice. Okay, let's look for our cheapest upgrades first. 2,000... 2000. I think we, we so we're getting discounts on ironmongery. Let's build the potter in Jerusalem. Fun fact, I think that's the only potter in the game. There's only one place that you can build pottery in the world, and it's Alat, I think. Okay, Ankara, now you can get your school of calligraphers. And let's repair the mine. Good. 5,200. I think some of our territories are being... Some of our trade trade zones are being raided. But we're getting some... I mean, look, Jerusalem, their economy is going to explode! Damascus is growing at 35. Ankara is growing at 44. Who's growing the fastest? Baghdad at 48. Oh, you can be taxed now. Ardabil, 43. No, Baghdad's the highest. For the time being. Okay, let's hit enter. But if we can kick the Ottomans off of our territory, we'll have secured the Middle East, which will be enormous. Then we can just upgrade spend spend some time upgrading our economy like a lot of our particular tax related buildings i hope they don't cross no don't raid my ports they didn't attack our sloops though for reasons um sweden wants to trade with us yes and especially because they're willing to pay for the privilege I'd like a fleet that's powerful enough that I can sail a expeditionary army to the Americas and capture a few pirate territories. And potentially jump on the prop jump on the territories of a weak European power. Traditionally it's the United Provinces, they're usually the faction that runs out of steam first and collapses. Although it looks like their territories have already been gobbled up by other powers, so it might, it might just have to be attacking the pirates. Yeah, because they took, because they broke, they ruined Izmir, we've lost a turn of trade income. We just annihilated them with no casualties. Perfect. Okay, let's raid their ports again. Because every time we raid, we're just increasing the amount they have to cost. They have to pay to damage it. If we sit in the port, we'll damage it every turn. 
but if they push us out, well, our fleet will get destroyed, and usually they'll keep that unit sat in the port for a few turns. That's why I don't like sitting in it unless I've got like complete naval dominance. Okay, gunners, get into here. Construction report: two new trade ports. Do we have? Can we have even more trade routes? No, it looks like we're capped out. But still, now is now the count is starting. Our uh, possibility of having longer, um, getting more bonuses from trade relationships yeah, start to go up. So you're currently positive four. Bama's developing in nine turns. So we have to wait a bit before we can upgrade. We'll rebuild the school at Konya. I needed, to dis I needed to dismantle it so my armies could actually break out and destroy the raiding troops. If you don't do that, then you're in trouble. Okay, it's another 2,000 on another carpet weaver. I could do with building up some roads, really, but... Yeah, because we lost that port, we're going to lose lose a, lot, a bunch of trade for a turn. Um, but these are already can go back to Ankara because the garrison, the ports, um, the port, um, port authorities are back. They're war weary. Okay, Heracleon's about to develop, so we can break. We can we can keep breaking that if they try and build stuff there. Yeah, we are in a bit of a phase now where it's just... Oh, don't come and kill us, Britain. Please. Oh, phew. But we need to... Oh, there goes Amsterdam. That means Ceylon is now available. Interesting. Um, no, I don't actually want an alliance with you, Poland. Especially when you're demanding all this stuff of me. I don't mind allying with your protector, but you yourself, no. Okay. We just need to spend... We, we need a few turns under our belt where we can just upgrade our tax base. Then we can push again. Which now we've cleared all the Ottoman forces out of the Middle East. Well, nearly. Cairo's still a thing. I don't mind sieging Cairo rather than attacking it because we've got a lot of things to spend our money on anyway. And if nothing else, they're having to pay for the garrison in here. Well, maybe not the actual garrison troops, but things they had in here before. It's just another draw on their money. Okay, right. They're not going to repair them, just keep breaking them. They're still shrinking. Damascus has got better roads. Okay, might upgrade roads in Jerusalem. Upgrade the roads in Ankara. The army is combining again. Okay, probably want one of these to garrison Antalya as a shipyard. Can probably stand to not have a, uni an, a unit of mob here anymore. These repaired. Get a unit of Israeli into the army. This unit go back to Ankara. No, oh, they had a rebellion. Well, they had a, they rioted. That's why they destroyed their great arsenal. 
That's pretty good. Don't really need a cannon foundry in there yet. Eight hundred eighty-seven doesn't look like we can get much for them. Our money, except for everything, except school here. And here we go. Tbilisi is becoming a good Islamic nation. School of poetry. That's not a bad. That's a good get. I think this might make start to make Ankara being my fastest developing um, region soon. At some point, the garrison of Cairo has to sally, sally or be destroyed. I think the Ottoman fleet doing raiding our trade lines is doing a good amount of damage to our economy. Yeah, when we attack. Istanbul. It's going to be a blitz. There we go. There's the Cairo garrison. They're going to sally out and defend themselves. However, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Cairo. Cheers, everyone.